It's DDK and I'm back today with some terrible news. We literally made zero dollars today. This is no lie. We didn't get any orders. We did put in some bids on some uh, lows. We never won those. We also been looking at all of the gig apps and they have nothing worth taking, baby. So I know you're wondering right now, why are you here then? If you don't have any lows, why are you here? Why are you here talking to us? I do have some news for you guys that I wanted to get your opinion on. It's kind of, I don't know. Uh, comment below and let me know what you think once I tell you guys the whole thing. Now, this is what happened. Normally, I told you guys that I always look on Indeed as well as Craigslist to find different work for cargo vans. I also do another thing that I did not tell you guys about, and that is when I see vans or uh, semis or even box trucks with something tagged on the side of it, I always look the company up on Google. So I filled out an application and they reached back out to me. Finally, finally. Now, this is pretty much what they're looking for. You do have to have $750,000 worth of insurance, but you do not need cargo insurance. So that's pretty good. You don't have to worry about that. All you need is $750,000 $750, worth of insurance. And also you need to add them as a certificate holder for your vehicle. They also have loads for minivans, cargo vans, and sprinter vans, and probably box trucks too, but I'm not sure about that. But they are saying your vehicle cannot be no more than 10 years old. So that's another thing you gotta worry about, which this is 2022, so that's not a big thing. They are also saying that you do not have to put no signage on your van. Just you know how sometimes you are independent contractor, but they want you to put signage and, and tag their logo on your vehicle. They do not want you to do that. You don't have to do any of that. They do have 900 direct customers. That's what they said. They have 900 direct customers and they have a thousand carrier partners. So it's a lot of stuff going on. They have 24 seven dispatch. They also have 7,000. That's what it said. I'm just telling you what it said. 7,000 loads going out daily, 7,000. Now, they do not charge you any fees for you to sign on, but they do charge this one fee though. They charge a administration fee. If you are not exclusive with them, you're gonna pay $15. And if you are exclusive with them, you are gonna pay $5. What do you mean by exclusive and non-exclusive? Exclusive means that you are only running loads for that particular company. And non-exclusive means that you are running loads for anybody. Anybody who comes with that money, you're gonna get it. So that's pretty much the gist of everything with the company. Now, this is the question, right? They are saying they're gonna give you a 60% cut plus a 20% fuel surcharge. I'm not really sure how the fuel surcharge thing goes. I don't know if it's 20% of how much gas you use. I don't know about all that. But 60%, so if they pay $100, you're gonna get $60, they're gonna get $40, plus your 20% of fuel surcharge. But I don't even know nothing about that. That don't really matter. I'm talking about the 60%. I need you guys to comment below and let me know. Is 60% a good split for you guys? The thing is about this company is, it's like, I do think that it's gonna be another good opportunity for us to be moving around and getting busy and getting this money. But it's some things that they said on the phone that I'm already too, I'm already too fond of. I'm just gonna say that right now. One of them was that they pretty much booked the low and then they call you and then tell you, yeah, we got the low, blah, 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 blah. But they said it's really not forced dispatch, but I don't really know. They said it's not really forced dispatch. It's kind of is kind of not really. They just call you, say, I got a driver over here, and you just go pick up the stuff and then you go drop it off. So also, with the payment, they are saying, I, I so I asked them, how much are you gonna be paying us per mile? They said it ranges from 90 cents all the way to $3.50, depending on your vehicle size. So if you have a minivan, minivan, you might be close to 90 cents, and then cargo van a little bit higher, and then sprinter van a little bit higher. It also depends on how much weight you are carrying in your vehicle. So they pretty much, honestly, what they said on the phone is they don't have a set price. So they don't say we pay you this amount per mile. They don't say that. They say we're going to book these loads and you're going to get 60% and they're going to get 40%, which come down to somewhere between 90 cents and $3.50 per mile. So I really don't know. It's kind of, that's the thing I have a little problem with. It's kind of iffy. And I'm also iffy about that. You just going to book a load and then you're going to say, oh, I got a driver. He said pretty much you, they booked the load and they say, I got a driver over here. Then they call you and say, yeah, you got a driver. Go over here and pick this up and then drop this off. And then you don't know how much you're getting paid until after you did it already. And I had this same terrible experience. Well, y'all already know who, baby. Chicago Messenger Service. I had the same terrible experience. I was out there for six hours and they gave us $78 or $76, something like that. So, But we were in the car at this time. So I don't really know. I need you guys' help to let me know. What do you think we should do in this situation? Oh, another thing I forgot to tell you guys is they also said the deadhead miles are about 35% 
of the miles you're going to drive. So if you're driving 100 miles, 35 of those miles are going to be deadhead, which just doesn't seem that bad. I need you guys also, if you are like a pro in this field, let me know it's 35% good. I don't know. I'm new to this. I'm trying to be true to this. Y'all y'all, let me know and give me any info you guys do have. Pretty much what I'm asking you guys is to give me your honest opinion. What do you guys think? Do you think it's a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? Do you think absolutely not? I need the good, bad, and the ugly. Just tell me the straight up truth on what you think about it and would you do it or would you not do it. But we did put in a... um. A bid for a roadie order. Hopefully we get this joint so we can, you know, keep on recording this video. I don't really know if it's going to happen or not. But this one is um, three miles from Home Depot. And it is one item that weighs 130 pounds for $44.85. It's a great time to be alive. Hopefully we drive and pick this joint up so we can go ahead and get these bucks. I don't know. But again, do not forget whether we continue this video or not. Make sure you comment below and let me know your opinion. And while you down there, don't forget to throw them C's up. Yeah, I forgot, baby. Throw them C's up. I ain't forget. I got you. Throw them C's up in the, down in the comment section. And if you want to be a part of the Triple C, if you ain't part of the court, you want to be, you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then hit that like button and then throw them C's up in the comment section. Hopefully we get this order. I'll let you guys know either way. But we're trying to get to this cake and be great. Let's go. <laughs> Y'all see what's going on, baby. We got that order. We about to go ahead and get an order. How you doing? How you doing, boss? Man, let me see where we gotta go. I came in here one time before. Oh, here we go. Here we go, baby. And I looked it up. It's actually a water heater. Hello. How you guys doing? I have a a, a roadie order to pick up. All right, order number. Um, H nineteen eighty forty thirty eight forty eight. What kind of vehicle are you working with? I got a Sprinter van. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. I'm like, Nick. Hey, John. Can you help this gentleman out? There is a water heater located in aisle 25. Yeah, we grab it. He's gonna bring it up, okay? All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. One time this guy came to pick up stuff, and it was like 25 foot things, and I'm like, "What kind of car you got?" He's like, "It'll fit. I got a four Taurus." So I was like, "That's not gonna happen." That's not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's about to strap it to the top, You're huh? Right? Like, yeah. no. So that's not gonna happen. You're gonna end up with like broken pieces. Yeah. And they've been hanging out the back. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that you guys have a lot of stories about stuff like this happening all the time. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. You seem like you know what you're doing. I mean, I try to. I try to know. Yeah. I try. I try to. <laughs> you know, I do what I can. That was pretty fast. Thank you very much, sir. You have a great one. Appreciate your help. Y'all see what's going on, baby. We got the water heater right here. So, what I'm going to do is try to lean back. Lean back like Fat Joe. And slide this joint in so we can go ahead and get it in. I don't really know. I've heard that you're supposed to have it like, uh, standing up. They didn't say anything about standing up. Let me make sure. I don't know. It is what it is. This thing is just like this, baby. Stay right there. We're going to add the weed, strap it up, then stop. And what, 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 what? Strap it like it's hot. Strap the joint in. Then we're going to slide. I ain't going to strap it tight. We ain't gonna strap it tight. We gonna strap it light. You know what I'm talking about? So we're gonna strap it right here. Ugh. We got that right there. And I'm just gonna do one more for safe measure. I don't wanna play no games and y'all already know my name. And... Strap this joint loose. Strap a joint loose as a goose. Don't get me started. I don't know about that. Come up below and let me know if I know about that. Nah, 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 nah. Don't get me started. Put this right here. Dang it. It always happens every time. Right there. And just like that, we gone. It's time for us to get it on. My nickname Roman rocking on the microphone. Let's go. And we are here to drop off this water heater, baby. I did knock on the door 
The customer never answers, so what it is. It is what it is. We gotta do what we gotta do. Y'all know my phone's sick like the flu. <coughs> I thought y'all knew. And guess what else? I did look up if you can lay the water heater down, and it said you can't lay the water heater down. Cause I was wondering the same thing that I saw when I looked it up. They've been laying water heater down for many, many moons. They didn't have no uh, Sprinter vans back in the day. How would they transport water heaters? <coughs> just like this. That's just like this. So, hey. Slide this one out. And I'm gonna use the dolly. I ain't coming to play no games. Y'all already know my name. Okay, in the yard? Yeah. Okay. Let me take it this way. She said bring it in the yard. Oh, she got a tip for me. You know, I don't work for Home Depot now. My husband said he'll be home in five minutes, so pay you something if you bring it inside. A few moments later. How you doing, sir? You guys come and feed me here. <laughs> I went to a uh, uh, I had some trouble with the phone, and I had a dad to give me another phone. And... Oh. Technology is good when it works, when it doesn't, it's terrible. Back and I'm gonna open up the door. Okay, all righty, see you there. You ready? Okay. One, two, three. But the damn thing just broke now. And so it's right when it's before it got cold. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna tell you a quick story. So when I bought my first property in 2016, yeah. um, I bought it and um, the furnace, the furnace, it was the hot water here. The furnace was um, since 1985, but I was new to real estate, so I didn't really know any better. Oh, so guess oh. what? One week, literally six days after I bought the house, it went out. It went out. <laughs> it went out. And just like that, it is the end. But guess what? Uh, we did get us some more dividends. 20 extra dollars for helping the customer take the water heater to the basement, baby. When I think I'm busy, I'm glad you guys are with me. Now, do not forget to comment below and let me know what you guys think about this uh, other company. Should we get in? Should we not get in? Make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit that like button so I continue to get to these dividends. We only made $64 today, baby. What are y'all doing? If you're not subscribed, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. And then after that, throw them C's up in the comment section. I will see you guys on the next one. We going, we going, we flowing. You already know it, it's DDK. And I'm on my way.